Students, parents, teachers, community members, all calling for change. March for Our Lives, marching at Connecticut's Capitol Saturday, calling for Congress to pass stricter gun laws, including implementing background checks and a ban on assault weapons. They say students shouldn't have to go to school in fear. This is the rally in their words. What's happening in America should not happen ever. We march so no other children need to text their parents that they love them as they wait for a bullet in what should have been a safe haven. Memo to gun lobby. NRA, get out of the way. Ho, ho! The NRA is about to go! Gun violence is a preventable epidemic, and it is terrorizing our children. Yet again and again, our leaders choose to do nothing. They look away. Do your job! Do your job! I'm calling on our politicians to take action. Enough is enough. Even if you don't believe that you are directly involved or affected by gun violence, you are mistaken. This is a continuous cycle that I hope you realize will not end unless you do something about it. I'm actually studying right now to be a teacher, which is my main motivation to be here. These are children that are being killed. It's not okay. We're not take, trying to take away all the guns. It's assault rifles. It's more gun control. It's trying to, to limit everything. It's trying to save lives. It's getting to the point where, you know, there's no one in this country that, um, that isn't affected by this now, which is, is a very sad, unfortunate thing. No more violence! The motivating factor here is, is you know, going out and actually making a difference in the world. This is just what we have to do. We have to keep coming back. A message we heard a lot today was the importance of getting young people registered to vote and getting them engaged in who they elect to represent their beliefs. The House of Representatives passed a gun control bill on Wednesday. Part of that would include the safer storage of weapons so kids don't have access to them, inspired by Ethan's law here in Connecticut. The Senate would need at least 10 Republican votes to pass the bill. In Hartford, Tony Black, Fox 61 News.